Hi guys, it's Sandra from Gracious Goodness Essentials. How are you? Wanted to jump on today and talk about diffusional jewellery. You've probably seen on my page through the shop tab, I've got some amazing Andamuka Opal Matrix aromatherapy jewellery. I've got pendants and I've got bracelets. They're made by my husband, Mark, from Opal Quest. So Mark's got his own um, opal mine up in Cooper Pedy. He has an online opal shop called Opal Quest at www.opalquest.com and I am an exclusive stockist at the moment of this diffusional, diffusional jewellery. So you can see one there. Uh, so it's kind of black stone and you, there's opal sparkles through there, which is a little bit hard to see on the camera. Uh, this one's got a, a solid sterling silver backing to it. Uh, I've, I've got an Andamuka opal aromatherapy bracelet just with a leather band. Uh, they come in all sorts of different styles, all right? But how do you actually use them? So you can do two things. Um, I actually prefer to use the neat oil, all right? And here, I love it, and it seems the smell, the aroma seems to really stay well with these diffusional stones. Uh, you can either use the neat oil, or if you're not keen on having the neat oil close to your skin, then you can also use the pre-diluted touch rollers, okay? They, they work brilliantly. Um, all that I do, if I'm talking about using it with a pendant like this one, all I do is I grab my bottle, I get a little bit of oil on my finger, and I simply rub it into the stone. Now, I don't know if you can see on the camera that immediately it makes the stones shiny, okay? And that shininess will stay there for a while, but it will fade as the, as the stone actually absorbs all the oil. But, hmm, you can't see it on the camera. What it does do is because it darkens up the host rock, the, the black rock behind it, means that the colour of the opal really shines and sparkles through. But, as I say, if you're not keen to use a neat oil straight next to your skin, then you can simply grab your touch roller and roll it. Do you know what I actually do? I roll a little bit on my skin. You can see that wet spot. And I grab my bracelet and I flick it over both sides. And, I don't know if you can see. Oh, I hate cameras and opal. I really do. You can see the oil all over it. But... No, oh, you can't see it! There's rainbow sparkles. There is bands of green, blue, and pink, and gold that shine up brilliantly on this bracelet when it's got the oil in there. So that oil takes a few seconds to absorb, and then it's absorbed into the stone, and the stone slowly releases its aroma. Um, I often get asked whether or not you can wear these in the shower. Yes, you can. Mark will tell you off for doing it, though, because, um, because the stone is porous, it will accept the water into the stone, okay? And then if you jump out of the shower and try and put your oils on top, the water and the oils don't mix, so the oil doesn't want to sit next to the water, they repel each other, and your oil's likely to actually um, be more volatile. It's not going to want to absorb into the stone as well. So it is suggested that you keep your stones dry and just use them with oil. That being said, I haven't actually taken this bracelet off for about three or four weeks now. Uh, so it's been in the shower and it's been dry and everything else. My personal opinion is once the oil, once the stone becomes oil logged, if you like, I actually think the oil repels the water when you're in the shower uh, because I can jump out and pop a brand new fresh oil on my well, bracelet and I'm still smelling it for hours after. So use your own discretion as to what you choose to do. With my necklace, I take it off in the shower, but with my bracelet, because it's a leather band and it's a bit of a pain popping it on and off, uh, I simply keep it on the whole time. If you have got um, your pendant off, so if I take this one out, this is the one that's um, this is one that's for sale at the moment. This is actually a little hand carved one. What I do with these, or if you've got your bracelet off, I simply pop one drop of oil. You only need one drop of oil. One drop of oil in the palm of my hand, and I simply pop both sides, and I just rub it. I just rub it on my hands. Now, I did lots of testing when we were making this jewellery. I've had both the sterling silver, I've had the, nine, um, the 14 karat gold filled wire, and I've had the 925 um, sterling silver wire as well, soaking, literally soaking in oils uh, for days and days, and the, the oils haven't affected them. Uh, so there you go. That's all that you do with a diffusional one. I think I pop it in the palm of my hand. Job done. That's actually absorbed the oils really well. Frustratingly, you won't be able to see it. That is beautiful sparkles of green right across the face of that rock. Really pretty. So anyway, there you go. Heaps of different styles of diffusional aromatherapy, jewellery. That's how you do it. You simply pop a drop on, the oil soaks into the stone, smell is released. Job done. You're smelling pretty for hours to come. Anyway, uh, I hope that has helped you out. 
solid opal jewellery, like this stuff. Um, people often get themselves in a, their knickers in a bit of a knot about being super precious with it. If it is a solid opal, like we sell at Opal Quest, then you don't have to be super precious. It's a rock that's come from the ground, okay? I wear this when I'm washing the dishes and all sorts of things, uh, and it's not affected. The ones that you've got to be worried about with putting in water are actually the triplets and the doublets, and that's when you've actually got a, a really thin layer of opal and they glue um, either backing or topping, sometimes both, onto it to, to make it appear brighter. Um, and in that case, then you can get water in between those layers. But if you're talking about solid opal like we sell, then you've got no worries about water with your opal. In fact, opal is a water stone. Uh, so there you go. Normal opals, safer water. Diffusional opals, I wear it in the shower, but you choose if you do or you don't because the oils and the water will repel each other. And you can use either neat oil, which I think lasts longer, but if you're concerned about the neat oil close to your skin, then feel free to use the touch rollers as well. So there you go. I'll catch you later. If you want the diffusional jewellery, have a look at my shop tab on Gracious Goodness Essentials uh, and we can have it posted Australia-wide for you the very next day. I'll catch you later. Bye.